Indonesia tanah airku tanah tumpah darahku di sanalah aku berdiri jadi pandu ibuku Indonesia kebangsaanku bangsa dan tanah airku marilah kita berseru Indonesia bersatu hiduplah tanahku hiduplah negeriku bangsaku rakyatku semuanya bangunlah jiwanya bangunlah badannya untuk Indonesia raya Indonesia Turquoise waters, glorious sunny day. The aerial displays in full swing as well. And a MotoGP title fight that has had another major plot twist. As for the first time since the Spanish Grand Prix in Jerez at the end of April, Takabanya has relinquished the world champion. <laughs> Got to say, rather them than me, <laughs> not really one for the uh, don't mind flying, it's just flying in a straight line <laughs> that I'm totally comfortable with. This is some show, isn't it though? The Indonesian fans here have been treated to a pre-race spectacle from the uh, the aerial display team. There we go. Well, a very special pre-race ceremony and show about to commence here in Indonesia. Yes, they will gamble with the soft, but uh, they will struggle a lot for sure. Uh, and then we have to see at the end of the race. Also, it depends how the riders they manage the tire, how is the electronic, the traction control. So everything they can do to save the tire, it will help them. Spy guys mistake in some post sprint drama as well. Well, uh, Jack Miller in a burning crashing on his way back into the pit lane. They're going to be hoping for better fortunes though in the feature race here. Okay, let's get some thoughts from that team. Francesco Bidotti, who joins Simon. Yes, he does. Francesco, can you give us your thoughts about each, well, each of your riders going into this race? Yeah, uh, will be a tough race in this condition. We know uh, level of grip and temperature and everything. It uh, will be a long race, 27 laps. It's, uh, it's quite quite long race, but uh, confident. After yesterday, information uh, uh, from uh, Jack's side, because uh, the race is coming up, isn't it? He's been banging the drum of light at the top of the MotoGP World Championship, Roy Martin. How's he going to extend that seven-point lead over Paco Bagnaia? Let's go and get some free race thoughts. Prima Pham and the Cassie Boss. Gino Borsoi, who's with Simon? Gino, another masterful display from Jorge from six on the grid yesterday in the sprint. How would this race... Well, that's Blatcher Corsa who did so much work behind the scenes to bring MotoGP back to Indonesia. It's one of MotoGP's biggest markets, a huge and passionate fan base. There's a really good crowd here today as well uh, for this 15th round of the season. We'll quickly pop back down on the grid then and catch up with Simon again. Just wanted to inform you something. You know how uh, Piero it was a uh, medium rear tyre, uh, bar two, but further back. And so I'm towards the front of the grid doing the interviews. Francesco Guidotti uh, saying that he's still going to make the tyre decision, the rear tyre decision. I was waiting for him. Uh, from the soft to the medium. And uh, for most of the people, uh, the rider is uh, quite unknown. And uh, we don't know if the, the tyre will drop, uh, if it won't drop. Uh. 